Hi guys, today I am making a video review of Motorola V180. So at first let's begin with the charger. The charger is unlike most contemporary chargers. It has a transformer inside. It works only on uh, 230 volts of input voltage. It has a European style socket plug. So about the phone itself. Here is the phone. So this phone is from 2004. It's one of the first Motorola's to support MP3 ringtones. It works on European GSM frequencies, GSM 900, 1800 and 1900 MHz. It's a three-band phone, actually. Uh, let's see the exterior of the phone. We have external display, which shows the clock and who is calling you and some other things. We have uh, volume buttons at the left side. At the top side, we have mini USB port, not micro, but mini USB port. You can connect the phone to, to a computer and transfer songs and uh, pictures. But you have to have special cable and special software for the computer. The software is called Motorola Phone Tools. This hole here is to attach the phone to your neck with some kind of strap. This is external speaker. This is the battery cover right here. At the bottom we have two ports, one for charger and one for hands-free. The phone has external antenna. Let's power up the phone. I put an uh, expired uh, SIM card in this phone just to be able to turn it on. So let's see the menu. Actually before the menu I want to say that uh, the keyboard is unlike any other keyboards that I have seen. It has a light sensor. I mean if there is excessive light there is no backlight. If there is enough light in the room, there is no backlight in the keyboard to save battery power. The sensor is uh, behind the star key. I don't know if you can see it, but now the backlight is off. And I don't know if I can turn on the backlight. Yes, I uh, put my finger above the star key, simulating not enough light, and now the backlight of the keyboard is on. But now, if I press again some key, the phone detected that there is enough light in the room and the backlight of the keyboard is off. This right here is the microphone. When you close the upper part of the phone, this pin right here presses this button right there. I don't know if you can see it. And the phone detects that it's closed and the internal display is turned off. Uh, you can answer a call by opening the phone and you can end uh, call by closing the phone. So let's see the menu. We have uh, three soft buttons, left, middle and right. They activate various functions. The middle soft button activates 
some kind of contextual menu depending on the menu section you are in currently. So we have all the regular features of the feature form from 2004. We have messages. There are messages because I have been using this form for several years from 2005 and to 2008, I think. But it's very well preserved, it's almost like new. We have recent calls, we have phone book with voice dial. We have calculator. Date book is a calendar actually. <laughs> the calendar is up to the year 2088, I think. I tested this. this. We have alarm chat. This is SMS chat. You. This is like threaded SMS view. This is the SIM toolkit menu at the bottom. So these were the office tools. Now we have games. This phone supports Java. Java applications and games. The phone has about 1.5 megabytes of memory. I have installed some, some games and applications. There is a very interesting game called Tronics. You can see it. You have to surround your enemy. I am the red one, the enemy is the blue one. But I died. And you must not hit the walls. So I have installed some other applications too like unit converter, stopwatch, 3D, Strange Maze 3D, this is a 3D game on a 2004 phone, can you imagine that? Let's see it. I don't know what you should do here, but you walk through some 3D maze, obviously. So these were the games. We have web browser. This phone supports uh, circuit switch data, CSD and GPRS, GPRS for internet access it has a HTML browser it supports both HTML pages and web pages Multimedia. This phone has pictures, has music, it supports different themes. Here are some pictures.
we have sounds as I said before this phone supports mp3 ringtones as well as polyphonic ringtones I will play some mp3 right now just before playing the mp3 I want to say that because the phone has very small amount of memory I had to uh, modify the mp3 files I made them smaller I made them mono I made them uh, uh, with higher compression and uh, I made them shorter in order to use them as ringtones I cut the best part of the song only this is 48 kilobytes mono mp3 file the sound comes from the bass speaker we have a moto mixer we can create our custom ringtones here these songs I have put them to use as ringtones here are some of the ringtones these are the built-in ringtones So this right here is the web browser, we have settings, This is the external display. So that's about it. It's a nice little phone with temperature support. It has a color display with 65,000 colors. The technology is CSTN. The resolution is 128 by 128. It's square screen actually, as you can see, of course and that's all folks for now bye bye see you next time